Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing great. But I suspect that you are probably questioning a lot of things and not feeling real comfortable about what's going on around us, as am I. I was sitting and thinking about this Boston Marathon and the way everything came down. And all of a sudden I started remembering back to all the different events that have taken place that are catastrophic, where people are being killed. And the one thing that I find very concerning is that in nearly all of these events, there is a disaster drill taking place. I'm going to bring up just a few that came to my mind. And I really think it's time for us to do some heavy, heavy, full-hearted research into what's going on around us. I sincerely do. I've never felt right about these things. This Boston Marathon terrorist act doesn't feel right. I listened to it all through the night. Normally, I'm not big on television at all, and certainly not mainstream media. But I found it fascinating how the story kept changing. In fact, at three, somewhere around 3 a.m., I listened as they reported that the older brother had been, in fact, apprehended. They showed a naked man that certainly looked to be him being put in the back of a patrol car. How he got out of that car and killed before he got into the car and ran over is something of a mystery. But at 8 a.m. the next morning or 7 a.m., whatever it was, I listened as they reported that he had, in fact, been shot in a shot and or killed by his own hand grenades or bombs they didn't know for sure which anyway the story kept changing you know truth doesn't change lies do in fact most liars trap themselves they end up telling the truth through their own lies because a lie changes. Truth does not. You know, back on 9-11, let's go back to 9-11. I know most of you are probably tired of hearing about 9-11, but friends, it's not resolved. It did not happen the way they said it did. It didn't. Isn't it odd that on the very morning of 9-11, that there were uh, many drills going on in that area for hijacked aircraft. Certainly were. Go look it up. Haiti. Do you guys remember in, I think it was January of uh, 2010, Haiti had the big earthquake, a horrible earthquake. Well, you know, there were drills taking place there, too. In fact, the United States military was involved in a joint mission to, uh, for the, uh, oh, what was it? The, uh, help aid aid Haiti 
Anyway, there were drills. There was a disaster preparing uh, drill that was taking place. In fact, if you go to DISA, D-I-S-A, which is your Defense Information System Agency, type in Defense Launches Online System to coordinate Haiti relief efforts and start reading. You'll find out that not only was our military involved in that at the very time that it took place, the earthquake, but one of the main military men involved, um, what was his name? Berland, I think. Uh, Air Force Major Ken Berlin. He lost his life in that. We have a lot of stuff going on that just uh, raises my instinct to a height of be aware. You know, London, the London bombings. Do you remember those? I'm sure you do. The London bombings, there was an exercise taking place um, for an unnamed company. I don't think anybody ever came up with a name. But it was a uh, consulting agency with government and police uh, doing an exercise for this company which revolved around the London Underground being bombed. And you know what? It was bombed at exactly that time. Go look it up. You know, and, and hopefully I've got the details right because I'm going from memory here. You know, I didn't take time to relook this stuff up. But uh, in my blog back in March of... Uh, 2012. Can't remember exactly when it was. The end of March. It doesn't matter. When Mexico had the big uh, 7.9 earthquake. You know, the funny thing about that is for two weeks before there was an advertisement that was posted in shop windows and handed out all over Mexico about this planned uh, drill for earthquakes that was going to take place. Now, here's the freaky part of that. And you can go to my channel, go over to the right, see where my blog is, go down through my blog to March 24th and read, read it yourself. The odd thing was, not only did this poster say that they were going to do a seven point, I mean a drill for an earthquake measuring in magnitude 7.9, but they gave the exact time right after noon. And I'll be doggone if they didn't have that earthquake at exactly that time. Now, are these all coincidence? Can it be that this is just through some law of attraction? That when we set out to do these drills, that we're attracting these things? Is that what's happening? Or is there something really, really darker than that taking place? The theaters. Theater shootings the drills that were taking place, the marathon that we just watched in Boston, the drills that were taking place. And ironically, these drills coincide. They work with the drill and the event, the drill and the catastrophic event that takes place. They're all linked. There's something really wrong. And I would suggest that we get together and start doing some really heavy research because something stinks big time. You know, Aurora, same thing. Sandy Hook, same thing. They all had drills taking place at the time that these horrible, horrible events took place. 
So please, friends, join me. Let's get together. Let's start doing some research. Let's, let's put together a calendar. Let's get all of this stuff listed. Let's find out what's happening. And uh, something's not right. They're either planning these very well and instituting them, or law of attraction is a whole lot more powerful than we think. Love you all. Great big hugs. Catch you guys later.